Hi guys, welcome to MeloDev channel. In this video, I want to teach you four ways to fetching data in React.js. All right, let's get started. All right, guys, the first approach, we're going to use fetch API. The fetch API is built in JavaScript method for getting resources from a server or an API endpoint. All right, let's write some code. First, we're going to import use state and use effect from React. And then we're going to use fetch API. But before we use it, we're going to create our state. So our first state is um, data and set data function use state. So the initial state of the use state, I'm going to set it to null. And then our second state is uh, loading and set loading function. So the initial state of loading, we're going to set it to true. And the last one, we're going to create uh, error state and set error and we set it to null. All right, perfect. And next we're going to start using use effect. So the use effect when our component did mount or attach to the DOM, we want to call or trigger fetch function for fetching data. All right, inside use effect, we're going to use fetch. So the API that I want to fetch is uh, HTTP s colon slash slash api dot github dot com slash users slash my user or miler all right and then we're gonna get the response so we use then and then we get the response data and right there i want to check the response so we use if if the response dot okay we're gonna return um data so we're gonna return response dot json so this JSON method is used when you want to convert JSON data to JavaScript object. All right, but if the response is fail, so we're going to throw response. All right. So after we convert our data to JavaScript object, then we're going to set data to our state. So we're going to use then and get data. So we're going to call set data function and pass the data to store our data to our state. All right, and then we're going to use catch. So if we encounter some error, we're going to console.error and write some message. So I'm going to write error fetching data and error. And then we're going to use the set error function. So we're going to pass the error parameter to set to our state. OK, and finally, we're going to use finally. So if our application fetched data successfully, we're going to call set loading function and set it to false. All right. And then right here, we're going to use if. So we check if loading, we're going to return um, text loading dot dot dot. And then if error, we're going to return error. All right, so then inside the return, we're going to display some data from our state. So we're going to use um, IMG tag. I want to display my picture. So we're going to use ARC attribute, and we're going to access to data. So we bring the data variable, and we're going to access to avatar underscore URL. All right. Right there, as you can see, we got our image. So next, we're going to use p tag and display some information. So we're going to display our name, data.name. Next is bio, data.bio, username, data.login, location, data.location. And last one is public repos data dot public underscore repos. All right, cool. So this is the first approach of using fetch function in React.js for fetching data from an API.
Let's go to the second approach. The second pattern is by making use of Axios. Axios is an easy to use promise based HTTP client for the browser and Node.js. With Axios, we can get the ability to intercept and cancel requests. It also has built in feature that provides client side protection against cross side request for Derby. All right, let's install the Axios package. So, right there in the dependencies, panel, we're going to install Axios. Okay, type Axios and click install. Okay, after we install Axios, we're going to import it to our app. We're going to import Axios from Axios. So next, we're going to call Axios for fetch our API. So we're going to change from fetch to Axios. So when we use Axios, we don't need to convert our response to JavaScript object. Then you can get rid of it. All right. But we're going to change from data to um, response because we're going to um, get the response and then we're going to access to the data and set it to our state. So we're going to bring the response parameter and access to data. All right. Okay, guys, when you hit save and refresh the page, as you can see, our information, our data is still the same. So it's very cool when you use Axios. You can write less code and we get the same result. Next, the third approach, we can fetch data in React using a single weight syntax. So in the ES7, it became possible to resolve promises using the async await syntax. So async await is relatively new way to write synchronous code in JavaScript. The benefit of this is that it enables us to remove our then catch and finally callbacks and simply get back our asynchronously resolved data as if we were writing synchronous code without promises altogether. Okay, but why single await? Some of you guys might be um, wondering why we should use a single await to fetching data. Because a single await is a cleaner syntax to write a synchronous JavaScript code, it enhances readability and flow of your code. All right, let's go to the code. In the use effect, we're going to um, cut the exhaust just a second. And then we're going to call the function that we're going to create to fetch data. So we're going to create our function name get data and below the use effect we're going to create our get data function. So our function is going to be a sync function get data. Okay? Inside our function we're going to use try and catch and then we're going to use await. So first we're going to create um our variable called response and we're going to use await. So we're going to call Axios and we're going to fetch um, our data from API HTTPS colon slash slash API dot github dot com slash user slash your username. Okay. And then we're going to update data to our state, right? So we're going to call set data and pass the response and then access to our data. So if you console.log below this console.log data go to console as you can see we got our data so next inside the catch we're gonna call the set error and set message error and the last one we're gonna use set loading so when our application is fetching data successfully we're gonna set it to false all right so as you can see our data is displayed perfectly Cool. So if you look at our code, when we use a single await, we can write cleaner code right there. It's pretty cool. All right, guys. The last approach is we're going to use custom React hook use fetch to fetch data in React. You may realize that it gets a bit tedious and time consuming to keep writing the use effect hook with all of its boilerplate within every component in which you want to fetch data. So if you don't want to write the use effect hook over and over again to fetching data, my advice is use custom hook. So our custom hook is called use fetch. All right, we're gonna install our hook right there. In the dependencies panel, let's type react-fetch-hook. Okay, click to install. Nice. And come to the top. So we're going to import use fetch from 
react fetch hook so right here we're gonna get rid of our code you can remove all of this here and this okay so in our app component we're gonna destructuring so use fetch we can pull the data or the variable we can destructuring is loading error and data and we're gonna use fetch so we're gonna fetch our data from uh, https colon slash slash api.github.com slash user slash omiler or your username all right as you can see our code gets a lot better and cleaner and we can write less code when we use custom hook use fetch okay and then we're gonna check if it's loading return loading and if error return error nice that's it just hit save and refresh the page as you can see our data still the same it's very cool and our code it's more and more cleaner and concise all right guys this is the four different patterns that you can use to fetching data in react.js i hope you guys enjoyed this video if this video is helpful don't forget to like and subscribe thank you for watching and see you guys soon in the next video